Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to take this photo here and, you know, turn that sign on using Photoshop and a tool called Vanishing Point. All right, let's get into it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up that image in Photoshop. And first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on that background layer, right click it and duplicate the layer. And the reason I'm doing this is because I always want to be editing in a non-destructive way. So that background, I'm not going to touch. It's going to be the original image the entire way. So I've got a copy there. Let's go into it. I'm going to go into filter and vanishing point. Now vanishing points a really cool tool in that you can now tell Photoshop what the different planes are. So, you know, you got a flat wall here, you got a flat wall over here, and you can give this kind of 3D information to Photoshop. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to make my first plane. And unfortunately, the uh, when you're in Vanishing Point, the f I don't know what you call the track bad commands where you stretch it out and push it back in to zoom in and zoom out. That doesn't really work very well. So you have to use your command or control uh, plus and minus buttons to zoom in, hold the space bar down to move it around. Uh, it's a little bit cumbersome, but eh, it still works. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, go up to the left here and click on the create plane tool. And I'm going to zoom in just a bit more by going command Plus, I'm going to hit that corner, this corner, and then command minus to get out, space bar so I can uh, scroll it, command plus. Yes, it's kind of a pain there to use all those, but it works. All right, now you'll see that it created a grid <clears throat> on that one plane. Now, because we want to uh, take what is lit up over here and push it over here. I'm going to have to create the second plane on the left hand side. But to show that this plane here and this plane over here are connected. And now when I'm hovering over this white square, you'll see that I've got the uh, adjustment uh, tool come up first. Okay, now if I'm pushing down on the command button, all of a sudden that changes and I can then pull from there and I can create a new plane. And what this plane does is it is actually connected to the first plane. So second plane, first plane. And from here, I can then adjust it to match what my target plane is going to look like. So here, and I'm going to take this one down to here. And again, I'm going to use my command plus to zoom in, drag it over. And this is where I'm going to do my little micro adjustments. Okay because I want it to be perfect. I'm going to move that to here. Good. Scroll up and I want this corner to be perfectly aligned to be here. Good. Now that we got those two planes, the vanishing point knows that this is one plane. This is the next plane. And next select this top portion just by using the marquee tool here. And I'm going to click on the very top corner, select that entire space. And I'm going to hold on command and notice how uh, notice that uh, the cursor there, it's the the same cursor as duplicate layer kind of duplicate object kind of thing. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna duplicate that selection, I'm going to click on it. And now you'll notice I can just drag it across the plane. And that works out really well, except for the fact that, you know, even though the logo, the TD, they're correct, the direction of the sign is not correct, right? So I actually want to change that. And to change that, I'm going to go over to here to this tool, the transform tool. And as soon as I click on that, look up here, it's got flip and flop coming on. Now flip flips the image left to right. Now flop flips it the other way from horizontal top to bottom uh, top to bottom. So I'm going to keep it as a flip. I'm going to zoom in again. And let me move that so it is 
the corners line up nicely. Good. And from here, because I'm in the uh, the transform tool, I can adjust the height, I can adjust the, the width, and everything there so it matches up perfectly. Good. Now that works. Now let's get that TD logo uh, back in as well. I'm going to click on the marquee tool again, and this time I'm just going to go over here, grab that again, command, clicking it so that it's now a different uh, layer. I'm going to click on the transform tool, match it up so that it lines up perfectly there. And on the left side, or sorry, on the right side, you'll notice that I've got this beam here. So I'm not getting as much of the uh, space underneath shown. So uh, when it comes and transforms over to the left, you'll notice that there's a little bit of space uh, underneath it that I still need to fill. So I'm going to grab my marquee tool again. And this time, I'm just going to grab it from here, go all the way to there. Again, I'm going to duplicate it, get my transform tool, and I'm just going to expand it down. And that is it. OK. There we go. So before, after. Pretty simple. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Put it in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, put them below, and be sure to click on like, subscribe, and click on that little bell to be notified every time we put up new content. And I am happy to announce that our online real estate photography course is now done, and it is ready for you. Just go to www.robmoroto.com and use a coupon code that is in the show notes here to get yourself a nice little discount. All right, see you later.